రిజర్వ్ బ్యాంక్ గవర్నర్ రంగరాజన్ మాట్లాడుతున్నారు లైవ్ చూద్దాం ది గవర్నమెంట్ హాస్ ఇండికేటెడ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కంఫర్టబుల్ ఇన్ సెట్టింగ్ అ టార్గెట్ ఆఫ్ 4% ప్లస్ మైనస్ 2% యాజ్ సజెస్టెడ్ బై నంబర్ ఆఫ్ కమిటీస్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ ది ఊర్జిత్ పటేల్ కమిటీ ఫర్ ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్ బియాండ్ 2016 సెకండ్ దేర్ ఇస్ సబ్స్టాన్షియల్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ స్ట్రెస్ స్టిల్ ఇన్ సమ్ సెక్టర్స్ uh we have been taking a holistic view uh instead of a sector by sector view keeping in mind the need for flexibility in financial restructuring while limiting the extent of forbearance in the next few days i hope to be able to announce two key relaxations one is a move towards 525 uh restructuring for existing projects which are standard and also to allow banks to take equity uh in restructurings to a greater extent than they currently can uh we're discussing the price at which such conversions can be done with sebi as of now so those are the two uh additional announcements i wanted to make and uh now we'd be happy to take questions oh one more point which is i'd like to introduce mr michael patra who is our executive director for monetary policy and has taken over so any complaints you have with monetary policy please address and to him oh, and <laughs> okay uh questions yes sir uh there Hello governor this is Simran Gill from ET now you certainly have given a positive statement out here saying that if a change in monetary policy stance continues the there will be a change in monetary policy stance if inflation continues the way it is so just wanted to understand from you what are the upside risks attached to this statement of yours do you feel you have already said by march you may reach 6% but going forward what are the upside risks how much more risky could it be this statement of yours where well, uh, upside risk to inflation to, no no to the statement that you could go ahead and maybe cut rates much earlier in the next fiscal you mean and how, also change your monetary policy stance you mean stance. how positive so, can you interpret it yes. is that the question well as positive as as you need to interpret it uh, I, i know that uh, depends on your frame of mind uh, <laughs> uh, let me tell you the thinking behind this that is we are certainly seeing a disinflationary process and of course world developments crude oil etc uh have been positive from that perspective for india um we want to get get more certainty about the pace of the disinflationary process as well as get uh, a little more sense of some developments on the fiscal front etc uh as of now and this is why the stance remains unchanged we think that uh um you know we are well set at this point but as the information comes in uh our sense is that if it goes according to expectations it will be towards monetary accommodation uh the stronger the information the sooner the accommodation got it and uh, next one lata uh governor when you say that uh, a change in monetary policy stance is contingent uh, if the current inflation momentum and changes in inflation expectation continue do you mean that if it goes according to your fan chart that will satisfy you to change policy stance or do you want a further downward surprise likewise when you say that you are looking at fiscal developments uh, uh, whether they are encouraging would you look at the quality of achievement of the current year or the quality of promises of the next year okay <laughs> very good question so on the on the first one uh the uh, question on uh, the fan chart itself i mean at this point of course we'll take both a narrowing uh, because we are set for the target we would like to see a narrowing of the bands so that we feel more comfortable that the target is likely to be achieved with high probability but of course if it goes below the target if information comes in that takes us below that will also be a source of uh, of comfort uh but uh, when we're looking for more information uh, it's really to reduce the bands of uncertainty at this point uh, which will also uh, hopefully move it move the mean down of of our of what we expect it comes in line that should be uh, good enough um i think we'll have to take that call but uh i've said if the trends continue uh, that is what we're looking for uh we want to make sure that this process is well underway we've had a couple of months after 
you know, uh, four and a half years, five years of high inflation. So uh, we want to make sure that this is for real. Uh, and uh, especially because we don't intend to flip-flop. Uh, again, if the world changes dramatically or uh, circumstances change dramatically, you will have to respond. But uh, uh, we don't want to uh, follow uh, sort of every piece of information up and down. We'd rather change and change for good. Um, on the second uh, issue of the, uh, the fiscal, it's one of the, I wouldn't say it's the central thing we're looking at, but it's one of the main, uh, number of things that we've enumerated that we would like more information on. Uh, and at this point, it is whether we can achieve the targets uh, set for the current budget, not, not the next one. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, we would uh, also like to see a, a good budget going forward. Uh, our discussions with the government suggest that uh, things will be on track. Uh, and of course, uh, what we're looking for is that to happen. Uh, Governor Subhashri from Rajan.